We're out here at the bee. Out at the bees here. Got her all opened up. This is about that uh, feeder that I saw on Jason's channel. I already filled this one up. So let's go ahead. Yeah. So I put put two of those in. And man, they really seem to like it. They drank down probably, you know, seven eighths of it. Um, so they did real good. They drank almost all of it. And I filled it back up, popped it back in. All I did is I took some box boxes and just, you know, stacked them on, or leftovers, and stacked them on top of each other. Put that on top. They're doing good. So I got just, it's just two mediums, and then a, basically a third medium that uh, is there for, for the feeders. Keeps it out of the sun. A little extra, a little extra uh, protection for the bees. Throw some bricks on there. Go around to the front. This one right here. So we got a little bit of activity, but it's pretty late in the day. So they're doing good. Uh, it's Wednesday, so this weekend on Saturday or Sunday, depending on the weather, I'll stop in there and and. Um, you know, open them up, see how they're doing. Uh, they were requeened here not long ago. This one here is three mediums, eight frame mediums, with a feeder on top. That's just, uh, it's got the same, it's got the uh, style of Don the Fat Bee Man, his feeder. So I put those, put one of those in there. They really seem to like that, but uh, I get a lot of crystal sugar and um, takes, them, takes a little bit uh, you know, fill it up and whatever. I really like the the style that I saw on Jason's channel. Boy, just if you got them ready, you just pop them in and you're done. So, I think out of this one, I'm gonna grow some queen cells and and, and then split up a lot of these other hives. Over on the other side, got three three uh, three hives. This one got three mediums with a feeder on top. And I've got another three mediums with the feeder on top. And then this one on the end, this one's just going crazy, but they're a little more defensive than the others. So I'm probably going to use them as stock for when I do my splits. I'll take the queens out of that end one out there on the, on the right. And I'll get enough queens where I can split this a few times. And then I'll take that leftover with the, uh, with the queen that it came with and I will uh, maybe sell that one off because um, they're not bad they're just you know a little more defensive than the other ones um, but they do they do make a lot of bees and they do pull in a lot of honey so um, somebody will like them I'm not really after the honey I like more gentle bees I'm just kind of doing it for fun so I'll split those up use the queens off the other ones and uh, maybe get rid of the the queen and a box that this one came with so it was a nook so all right have a good one